Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to a Secret of Mana playthrough that has a bunch of salt. I decided to go and grind up my characters to a lot. By a lot, I mean extraordinarily a lot. To the point where I think this dungeon should not be that much of an issue, dependent on if my the NPCs are smart enough to not just die. Uh, I think I have enough Cup of Wishes, which should be three right now. Yeah. Yeah, that should be enough. My I increased my Chakram level a bit because I like to just do this little strategy of they can't hit me and I can kill them. <laughs> Shoot. Gotta love when you accidentally, uh, press the wrong button for a split second. Isn't it the best? I think it is. And I'm pretty sure I throw further if I... Or it's the same distance no matter what I press. So just spamming is probably my best option right now, which I know doesn't lead to the best of gameplay options. But... Ah, who's gonna really care? Especially since I just locked them, locked all these enemies into what I like to call, you're dead! Because these guys spawn way too quickly. And they have cure water, which becomes very annoying to deal with. Granted, I am dealing not the greatest amount of damage, but just enough so that I can switch off. Oh, wait, I don't want to go with that. I want to go to Rand, who I actually really enjoy playing almost over everybody else, which I did not think that would be the case. Uh, let's equip the broadsword to do the finishing blow, which, of course, you, you, had, you had a baby on me. Of course you did. The mob goblin got whacked, thankfully. And boom. There we go. The goblin. I don't like them. The goblins. And... Die. There we go. You are dead. And thankfully, since I have everybody as ranged... They shouldn't have got hit by anything. But apparently they did. And boom. Dead. Thankfully it was a Ma Goblin, so it dealt a lot more damage. Or, well, it died quick, at least. Hopefully it died faster. Also, I'm... There we go. Th that was kind of getting me a bit sad that that was happening there, but yeah, oh well. I should have in everything unlocked, so all I have to do is go through this little bit and go and talk to the the gnome, the gnome, where I constantly shoot arrows at him. Good, the Ma Goblin died, and you hit you. Uh, really? Okay, game. That was a little weird interaction. Like, I can understand being, like, Rand being hit by that, but Poppy getting hit? That, that's a little bit sus, I think. And my goblins, of course, are the most annoying things. There we go. My goblin's dead. And we just need to whack you a few more times. And... <laughs> really? I am very thankful for Prim, actually, because she can deal a bit more damage than what I thought she would be able to do. 
and let's go do this. And let's try to... Oh, only six... Hmm. That doesn't seem right for damage. Oh well, but still good enough damage. And because I can... I... I know I've said this before, but I just love the whip as a weapon. I... Just because of how useful just being able to stand back and deal a decent amount of damage. Like, it's not the best amount, but the amount is good enough to... Where, getting hit for 40... Okay, game. Well... Ah, yes, uh, we give enemies the uh, benefit of the doubt on hitting hitting you but when uh, you're on the ground you're getting hit because I already have to use a couple of wishes which I didn't want to do and I thought and hello there probably a bomb Why do I even open up chests in this game? Is it because I I I am assuming that the game would be kind and you know give me something that is a bit useful. Uh, no remedy is kind of useless. Let's see, do a mass heal. Oh hey, her magic skill went up too. That didn't heal anybody. Game, you, you just made me... you... oh, because it went to Remedy. That's why. I think... I would hope that would be the case, that the game just accidentally forgot. And... Good you. Really, you didn't do the wide slash. There we go. Get oh, they're they're trapped in the corner. Is it because Poppy is actually doing stuff? Or and here's a bomb. Oh, it's a piece. Ooh, piece of candy. Not a bomb, actually. Also, I don't know why they put a single goblin. In. And I'm gonna test my luck. Oh, it's a piece of candy. You're a mimic that runs away. If you're a bomb, that's kind of stupid. Of course, they put... Basically, the game just told me never to trust chests again. Got it. And let's see, can I actually beat this boss this time? Uh, let's start off by hitting him with a freeze, which is at level 1. And he'll just explode on us and probably kill one of our... Oh, now he didn't kill anybody yet. Which means if I quickly go to you water on everybody. Good, good, good. That's a decent chunk. And go directly into another freeze.
I might just be able to cheese this game. Or cheese this this one instance of this fight. I think he's going to go for it. He's Okay, good. I was able to dodge it by using magic. Uh, wait, am I? I am surprised that I was, a I was able to do that much damage. Alright, one person being hit with fire. Okay, this boss battle was extremely easy now that I abused magic. And just abused it. Why, game? Why you gotta do this? Why? Alright, so let us continue and talk. Hopefully there's the gnome up here, or I learned some type of fire spell. But there's a seed. Phew, thanks, that was, oaf was always bugging me. Forgive me, I used you to get some relief. Dolph! Serve me and I'll maybe forgive you. Other else I'll throw you to my servant rand. Aye, no, let me be your servant. Hey, who are you calling a servant? Oh dear. Anyway, call me anytime, anywhere. Now close your eyes and feel the power of mana. May both you and your wife may summon me. What? Me married to that? I like your style, though. Well, that's that. I'll be seeing you. Got gnome's power! And to the mana seed. Let's touch this seed. And gain the power of the mana sword. Receive the seed's power. Hey, Poppy! My head! You you okay, Poppy? Ow! Oh. What's wrong? Whew! I can remember everything now. We live in the Upper Land Forest. You've got to take me there. I'll let you hang out with me until we arrive. What a treat. I wonder, does that actually heal me a bit, or... Well, we got one more MP, Earth Slide, Speed Down, Gem Missile. That sounds actually surprisingly useful. Stone Saver, Defender, and Speed. Okay, okay, that that's a respectable... Those are respectable. Please give me a warp out of here? Unless I can just warp out of here using my magic rope, which seems to be infinite. Which it does, yay. Oh, why am I prim? Let's go and heal up at the inn, even though we are at max HP. Getting our magic up is probably the best, since apparently that didn't get healed up by the seed, so... I don't know. So we have to go to the upper land now, which I'm not sure where that would be at. But hey, hopefully it's an aid decent place to be. Hopefully. And by that, I mean hopefully it's somewhere easy to find. Alright. Let's go talk to the inn. Or not the inn. To, uh, the blacksmith. Let's increase the power of the axe into the load axe. 
which watts, loads, I'm pretty sure those are terms for electrical power. I think. I may be dumb. That... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna just quickly where to go look up where to go after the fire gigas, because that seems like that would be the best case scenario. Okay, let us see. Okay, good. I was afraid that I'd have to go and do the rest, uh, like, go to the thi go find Popies, or Pop- yeah, Popos, or- I misnamed him, so forgive me. Or misnamed the pixie, not sure. Pretty sure it's male. There you go. Come down here and continue forward. Let's just back out of this menu because it, I accidentally clicked on it. And I mean, I'm I'm surprised that these guys still take a bit to kill. Not as long as before, but a, still a surprisingly decent amount of hits. Like this thing, I know has a grand total of 36 HP. And I sh okay that. That was a surprising lunge still, but, uh, you know what, let's just take the 50 gold and hightail it. There we go. And go cannon ride. Because th that's the best thing to do, is ride a cannon to uh, Pandora. Hope Hopefully it actually takes me pa to Pandora. And not to wherever. Or not... Cl By that I mean, please take me directly to Pandora. And it looks like it is taking me directly there. So that's good. So I can now go and... Talk... Well, not talk, but go save Prim's boyfriend. Which I'm pretty sure I have to go down, and it is to the side. Um. I, I'm pretty sure I read that correctly. I'm supposed to come back to Pandora, right? <laughs> well, hopefully, hopefully that was right.
Um, it, are, are you the person that I'm supposed to talk to? Oh, yeah, okay, so. So let's go do that. Granted, I did just read that I should be grinding. <clears throat> I don't really like to grind, but... Prim, I'm going to on a one-way trip. Pretty neat, huh? Come on, Fanta, snap out of it. Shut up. Stop bothering me. Hmm. Okay, I mean, I'll take that. Oh, that's what you mean by watch out. Let's do that. And Poppy, let's let you use gem missile on all. Oh, Poppy's magic already. Okay, that was Poppy's magic. Ooh. Ah, shoot. I hopefully am not in the corner trap. And let's use another one of you on... Good. Since Prim leveled up, she is now capable of doing more things, like a little bit better magic, apparently. Hopefully. Maybe. Oh, hey, it's these guys again. Uh, I can just ignore them, I think. Yeah. Thankfully, they placed them in one of the easiest rooms to... Oh, it's an evil sword. And... Okay. I just love the face that the zombies make. It's kind of cute. Granted, I... D Wait a second. Are, are you telling me that with their defenses that high, I can't touch it? And Tomato Man will continue to make new zombies, and I can't... I cannot physically hurt it. Huh. So... That hit all of them. Uh, let's use Earth Slide on all. Good. Granted, I should probably go and buy more magical seeds. In fact, I, that's probably what I should be doing because this. That, that's kind of sad that I cannot hurt the Tomato Man without resorting to magic. And magic is a highly limited resource. Unless enemies start dropping the seeds, which would be nice. but I highly doubt this game would be that nice. Uh, let's just ignore the swords. Wow, that did a fair amount of damage to this thing. Granted, these things seem like they're... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. This thing knows offensive magic as well. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Zero damage? 
Earth slide on all of them. And you know what? Let's see if we go and do... Not Defender, but Stone Saber. Let's see Stone Saber directly just on Rain to see if... Wow, that... That still deals zero damage. So the only way to beat Tomato Men... Or to... Okay, that doesn't seem fair. Or balanced at all. Since mana is such a limited resource. Uh, guys, I told you to... Guys, run. Run. Do not attack. I have you on attack. But, I have you on keep your distance. Because this doesn't seem fun. Yes, I finally entered the Shadow Realm here! And I need to check to see if the, I, my theory is correct, Greed. Yeah, okay, so... Alright, so it's not as dire as I as I thought about the Tomato Men. They just have a ridiculous amount of HP. Which, I need to make sure that I am at a decent charge so that I can deal damage to them. Except I deal zero damage. Even at fully charged. Alright, so that should be at level 1, level 2. And let's see. Of course, of course, game. That makes sense. Of me. Yeah, no, these tomato men have such high defense that apparently you... You normally can't kill them. Because of how high their defense stat is. So, like, the zombies... Yeah, no, uh, they have more health than the Tomato Man himself. And run. Run. I want to run, so guys, just keep up with me, please. Because I'm pretty sure that... Yeah. I will probably have an easier time with Thanatos than I do with the Tomato Man. Oh, hey, look, Fana. Too bad, uh, I've drained her energy, and now she can't- she's my faithful servant. I need life energy to create a new peaceful world, understand? You see, I have this apathy cannon, and I have all these monkeys. Welcome to Ape Escape Secret of Mana Edition. That's pretty much what this is.
<sighs> oh. Oh, great. Please tell me that this just leads me to a boss fight, right? <sighs> we'll be glad... Oh, it will be glad to have you there. Your energy will be a feast for it, too. A feast for it, too. Or a feast to it. Oh, it's... It's an eye. I mean, I am theoretically dealing more damage to it than it can deal to me. Which is kind of sad. Uh, switch to you. Use cure water on everybody. Like, oh, oh great, she died while casting the spell. Flash Beam dealt little to no damage. So, I am going to be... Uh, let's see. Can I... Can I cheat death by using... No, I can't cheat death. God. Uh, game. I'm pretty sure a wall can't dodge. Alright, so I can't... Oh, wait, that's... Heh. Oh, because I think the game's telling me that she's dead. Let's see if I can avoid this by piece of candy. I can! Like, th this... This boss doesn't seem that hard. Yeah, no, agreed. I have to agree. That's kind of what I thought, too. Nah, I don't want to waste what little MP I have on healing everybody when piece of candy does most of that. But, yeah, no, this thing, like, I don't get how I can miss on this thing. But I'm apparently missing a brick wall. I have no idea how I am missing a wall. Oh, okay. So I'm assuming I have to kill the wall, the main eye. Okay. I I couldn't hit. I, I'm trying to hit the my menu button, but the game was like, nah, you don't. You're not able to access your menu right now. Really, game? 
How am I missing a wall? How do I miss a brick wall? Yeah. Well, I didn't save state at all, so... Oh, well. But it just looks like we're gonna have to grind and grind and grind and grind. Oh, Bob. Didn't mean to start a new game. Um. Let's return to the title menu for a second. Because I did save, but it was all the way at... At, uh, the dwarven, dwarf village. And thankfully it was after I obtained Gnome, right? Yeah, okay, good. I have Gnome. Because that would be a very sad state of affairs if... I died and I had to redo that entire dungeon that I just cleared. I don't get how, why this game is... Oh, you beat the dungeon! There's, well, you're not going to really fight anything that's worth fighting for a while, but I mean... Uh, let's cast Defender... Let's have you cast, um, I'm pretty sure it said speed down is actually the best way for him to, oh, look, looks like, uh, the bat died. Except not. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay, game. You're not letting me get into the thing because we were doing that spell. Got it. That, that's not really annoying at all, then. Let's have you speed down on all. Let's use you, and let's use Stone Saber on everybody. That, that, this is getting relatively okay, because if I remember correctly, the best, like, hearing the best way to get your, your, uh, what you call it, your spell level up with Poppy is to just continually spin it. Slow down. And with, uh, with you, I think... It's just to randomly spam Defender. Uh, the game shouldn't be laggy, but it does look like we did drop frames about seven minutes ago. So, uh, give me one second. Oh, okay, so that might just be the music being weird, but I have no idea because this game can sometimes be, be the dumb. Uh, let's use Gem Missile. Have you just... Oh, you're out of MP. Alright. Uh... Hmm. Petrification Sword 
or petrification seems to still be working. Also, you got I I just got to love how I am doing less damage now to to the slimes even than I was before. Like did, did the game just say, "Hey, we're going to die." Also, I'm surprised that it put me off there at the entrance to another dungeon. That's that's a bit weird, I think. Uh, uh, let's just do another save slot here. Uh, I'm pretty sure I could just spam because I'm pretty sure all of my water things are at level one. Yeah, okay, so all I have to do is is spam spam basically. That that's really it. That that's that's all I have to do then apparently. Uh I just want to check to see if uh if this guy has any better water. Uh, Yeah, we, we're alive again. Uh, Alright. Uh, hopefully it's not dying again. Also, uh, Archgreed, how do you like the new logo that we made? Or that I made? I personally feel like it it's a decent logo to have, for at least right now. Granted, it's normally for, uh, since this is supposed to be a normally a D&D focused channel. Or not D&D, but a tabletop game focused channel, so... I think that it fits. Nice little uh, die with an A and E to it. Uh, are th is this place just completely emptied out now? Because if so, that's like I'm sad. Yes, the Aether. The action economy is just an Aether. Yeah. I mean, I tried my best. I, I actually really like the colors. I think they had turned out nice. Uh, one second. I forgot that the chat box was on, and I need to change the color to for the font at least, so that it can be readable for who ever joins in a little bit later. All right, hopefully this is better. Yeah, that is much better. Ah, uh, yes, Borgors is online. And this is something I should have probably messed with before the stream started, but, uh... Never said I was intelligent. Let's just do font settings and increase the size of the font. There we go. It is done. The H will live on.
And this game is actually pretty decent when it comes to being able to just shove in, oh, hey, I am, I am streaming. Here we go. Uh, oh, wait, yeah, no, that leads to a dead end. So let us... Just because it already has a filter, like a bit of a filter on the side, so it's just easy to throw chat up. Yes, I'm throwing you up, Archbreed. How, do you f how does it feel to be thrown up onto a screen? Alright, uh, let's see. Can Did I forget to upgrade anything? Yeah, okay, so I did So I did upgrade to the White Watts Axe into the Load Axe. So it's going to be a load-bearing axe for now. Okay, now then. Hopefully, I'm able to do this a little bit better than last time. Granted, that might just be that I need to increase my, like, increase my attack stat a lot. Eh, 47 damage doesn't seem that bad. Granted, hitting would be nice, though, too. go. And I will have to take the cannon taxi service, I think. Okay, Prim reached level 13. Oh yeah, I think she reached that in the uh, dungeon before. Great, I'm not sure how I can charge up my attack further. Uh, but you know what? Let me just hold the button. Okay, that's how I charge it up. I have to hold the button down. Okay. You know what? That actually... Alright, that kind of salt. That's probably why I was de not being... I wasn't able to destroy the tomato men so easily. Because I forgot to hold down the button to deal damage. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of wish this. I read a little bit more of an explanation on this game. I, I'm not sure if it told me or not. Um... Archgrade, I'm not sure about that with liver damage. I honestly do not know. And I'm sorry for not knowing, but... Um, I don't know what to say. I am decently sure that your skin would turn that color, but I'm, I can't say anything. I don't have a metal... I am not a doctor, so sorry about that. Uh, no, I will save the game here, though, just so that I don't get destroyed. Oh, that I, hmm. I wish I could tell you, like, what is the truth on that, because I, I personally don't know. Uh, hmm. Yeah, it kind of does sound a little bit like a movie parody. But this is real life, not a not a epic movie, which I still need. Which I still need to see uh, 
Gigaboot's uh, watch. I I really need to subscri subscribe to that or get get on that Patreon so I could actually listen to some of the good some of the coolest things in all of gaming history, especially Mondo Cool. Their monthly Dragon Ball Z podcast, which isn't monthly because they, it just happens whenever, which is also good. Oh, uh, I would that I would probably believe that, but still hold it with a little bit of a grain of salt. Wait, why, why, why did something turn it into a... Who's putting Frosties on things? And... Really? Even a charge attack, or level 2 charge, that just dealt 90 damage to everything around it, is not strong enough to hurt this thing. Like, I am dealing a lot of damage to to these zombies, but apparently it's not a lot. Yeah, you, I can't forget about the pod lords, such as Lady Popcorn, Nutgack, people that aren't aren't the pod lords here. But oh, so apparently Mana Sword is able to deal damage to him, but not anything else. Okay. But, yeah, no, it... Oh. Okay, I apparently got tangled up. Uh, yeah, but no, like, I, I would love it if... If this channel grew to at least half the size of what the... Of what Gigaboots has become. The Gigaboots Empire. Featuring the Pod Lords. Let's see... Yeah, no, 63 damage? That's... Up, oh, Moon Saber level 0. It... Oh, no, it's a golden sword that just is gaining health every time it stabs me. That's nice. Oh, I thought you died. So... Thought this sword bit the bullet. Ah, uh, it got whacked. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, apparently this game does not like to be streamed with all these dropped frames. But I think I need to go and heal up. see if I'm going to level... Oh, really? Now, let's just... Oh, dang it. Did not want to come in here. 
Oh, so en enemies will just sit there again. Also, why would you give enemies with ridiculously high defense when it, with a in a game that you can deal zero damage? Why give them even more, like, give them the ability to give themselves more defense to literally make it so that you cannot hurt them? I feel like I randomly was able to kill a single tomato man. And that is with an excessive amount of holding the bun down and then the game telling me I did zero damage through a charge attack. Yeah, let's save. I mean, this entire party is probably going to become level 5th. Like, I'll probably have to be level 20 to beat this dungeon, thinking about it. Uh, you know what? Let's switch up the weapon I have on Rand to B. Yeah, the axe does three points more damage, which hopefully at a level one charge. Okay, good. He's using fire. Game, don't, don't say moves miss, please. Also, you you guys should should you guys should uh target that zombie. There we go. So I, I realized the I realized the main issue of why I, I I realized why I why my guys are not the greatest. Because I don't have good armor for them. But nowhere actually sells armor for them. Like Unless these guys, because I defeated the dungeon, increased their stock, I highly doubt there's any armor upgrades that are that actually increase armor. Because the game's like, oh hey, here, have a kung fu suit. Okay. That's good for that's good for the character that I just got, right? No, your character already came equipped with it, and they're the only ones that can equip this armor. Then why have the ability to sell it unless there's an ability to transmute in the game that I have not found yet? Because if there's an ability to transmute later on, okay, I can, I can sem what I can semi see it. Okay, let's go and do you sell anything? No, you're not a shop. Let's find the shop to see if they actually put any items in it that can become useful, that are useful. No, that is not, this isn't a shop either. Here's a shop. Which I can't buy anything from. Alright, so... Get, yeah, full mana alchemist. Yeah. I like that. Uh, so, I can't buy anything from this town. So, I'm pretty sure I remember buying something from this town. But I can't buy anything now. So hopefully... 
hopefully against all hope there is something in here that is useful. Granted, probably killing... Let's just have you targeting, target the zombie, you target the zombie. Oh wow, these guys already, my party members already died. After being fully healed. Just because they decided... I told them to target... Because the AI is just brain dead, actually. Okay. The AI is just brain dead. I, I should realize this. And I should probably let Rand be the AI. Because he has a very unga boonga style to him. <sighs> Granted, at least going to an inn revives party members, which could be a lot worse if it was like, no, you need to you need to have a cup of life on you at all times to revive party members that, that die. Or a cup of wishes. That that would have made this game a lot worse, I think. Overall, just playing this game, it seems fun a bit, but it's very grindy. And I feel like I can just rush to the boss still and be in a better position. You know what? I need to change their action grid to keep away guard and you prim action keep away guard uh hmm. they are apparently deal attacking at a better rate now that now that i told them to not attack Why, game? Why you gotta do this? Yeah, there's a tomato in here. This is definitely not worth being in. Like, the zombies in this are... Like, everything else is actually... You... I told you guys to keep away! And the first thing that they... The first thing that it does after being told to keep away... Is, I'm going to go in and fight this thing. Really, game? Why do you give this thing such a high evade a chance? Like, if you're going to make it almost impossible to kill, at least don't give it a high evade a chance, too. That just seems wrong. Because... Watch me actually... Oh. Like, I am dealing a relatively decent amount of damage as... as Okay, good. I was going to say, if this tomato with its... Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna ignore the enemies. 
Unless I die one more time. Ah, really? Oh, I... I was able to dodge the damage. Huh. Now, let's just waste... Let's just... I'm just gonna waste some items. Because if I die, well... That's it. I'm just going to be grinding in the woods. Outside of this area, because apparently that... Apparently grinding... Grinding rabbits and things that die in three hits is probably going to do, do me a lot more than trying to fight this thing. Granted, actually. I do... I just realized something. I didn't use any of my magic. So this is going to be fun, I think, hopefully, to just continuously do damage to these eyes. Alright, here we go. Alright, uh... Okay, now that all the eyes are open, let's switch to Poppy. Hopefully you can use your magic. Uh, might as well use Freeze Level 1 on all of them. Use freeze again on all of them. Uh, I think I want you to heal everybody up. Yeah. There we go. Uh, since both eyes are still up. Uh, yeah, this is wall meat part two. Let's see if... Use Cure Water on Popey. And let's... Let's do it on everybody, because... Uh, because I was able to just almost solo this one eye being dead. So, maybe I was in the right mindset to really st stop absorbing me. Okay, because you're getting hit, I can't do anything. Got it. Granted, I could do that and make it so you don't get hit. And... 
head. Yeah, I know. Hope he can survive that. Let's just do that to avoid any damage. Really? You're going to spam absorb now. I don't know why my character is walking. You know, I, I, I do realize, I do know why my character is walking the wrong way. Joy-Con, boys! Really? It still hit me. Alright. game just let let me let me actually do something please the the game just canceled out my attack all right use freeze on both and i'll have rand use candy Oh, why? Okay, so... Uh, you have exactly enough to do one more to all. I have chocolate. Lot more. And I use another chocolate. Uh, Popey, uh, ple please actually uh, fire that arrow and hit, please. Why does this game love spam- have enemies spam magic? Like, I am in the middle of a swing that would actually deal a significant amount of damage. And I'm- and I'm missing a- a standard wall! Be- how do you miss a wall? Like, really, game? Like, I would be more accepting if the enemy did not just spam moves that are... Yeah, no, this is an auto-hit, and uh, you're just gonna get hit right after healing. And uh, we have a move to revive. I'm gonna... Yeah, this game does hate me, because in, I'm in the middle of an attack that takes a while to charge up and swing, and it just auto-does the... does 40 damage and knocks me out of my attack. Hey, look, it did it again! Right in a row! And there it goes again!
don't worry, I'm just gonna get hit again, most likely. Of course, uh, Ni also remember Nitro said, oh yeah, no, you can uh, avoid uh, taking damage by using using an item or something. Also, yep. Uh, yeah, no, I'm just gonna probably die here. Because this game likes to have it so I miss hitting a wall. So, so anybody who ever says this game was good? Can, can you just play the game again with how annoying half these, half the bosses are in this game? There's only th th this I left. Oh, and it's now trying to crush me. I wonder, can I actually use this item? I can't use the magic rope here. Okay. Really? The, the, the game's like, oh no, we're gonna turn you to the... We're gonna turn you around? The game also has an instant death. This game has instant death to the boss as well. And the weapon that deals the most amount of damage to it, yeah, you can't really use it against him. Um, hmm. He says there's not much here, but okay, let's see. You know, I'm not sure if I actually have a ribbon for her. But I'm just gonna buy as many cup of wishes as I can have. Now you. <sighs> oh no! Here's the thing. Uh, there's a few glitches in this game that just give you the best weapon in the game in the first 20 seconds. So speedrunning this game is kind of pretty easy if you use glitches. Uh, normal speedrunning of this game is probably a, a complete and total nightmare because this game is unbalanced. Because it, it, a balanced game would be, okay, here, have this field. Go, kill stuff. Yeah, you're level 20. All right. Not, not have a enemy that directly says what you do is invalid. But, since I have so, so much money right now, also it doesn't help that uh, with semi-weirded-out Joy-Cons, when looking one direction, I, I turn the other. Which doesn't help at all. But, really, these guys are getting... That's the other thing. Enemy placement in this game is garbage. Like, yes, no, it, back in the day, this is, was probably, oh, hey, this game's amazing. There's, there's so much to, like, you could charge up your weapons, you could do all this. But it's still, like, if the enemy placement was decent, and by decent I mean fair, like, oh, hey, I see, like, I have a, like, 
give me a bun to expand my camera view so that I can see that flower from over here normally. Like, I'm not even really rushing rushing through the area either. The, the, the thing just says, oh, hey, uh, here I am. Yeah, and you char overcharge for everything. But I want to see what you have, because he... He, he has something, like, I can't buy chocolate bars anywhere else right now. I have no idea what Royal Jam does, but I'm just going to buy a few of those. And now I'm just going to spend all my money so that I can get some SP back. Because he's the only person right now that I know of, that I have seen, that I have seen so far in this game that sells that specific item. And I am going to abuse the ever, everness out of just. Also, I don't like how I like. Watch this hurt me. Like every other ch Oh, it's a piece of candy. <clears throat> Sorry, I forgot that. Out in the wild, and well, that was a piece of candy. I but enemies actually like you should not be punished for opening up a chest for over 50% of the time like if I am in a long dungeon and an enemy drops a chest it shouldn't have the ability of dealing 30 damage to me or poisoning me that's just bad game design. <coughs> Especially on chests that run away from you that are, that make it seem like, oh, hey, it's just playing hard to get, which some of them are. Pe and people who say, oh, Dark Souls is a hard game, or, like, is hard and you should get good. <coughs> I kind of imagine Dark Souls being fairer than this game. Even though Dark Souls does have wonky hitboxes, same same with this game. There's just no pattern to enemies. If there's an enemy pattern, that would be good. But there isn't. Except with the Fire Gygus of whenever you deal damage to him, He'll just run away. That, that's not... That's not... Fun. Uh, man, this... I'm just letting the salt flow freer than in... And just orange juice. Like, orange juice to me is less salt intensifying than this. And that's a Mario Party ripoff! Well, not rip-off, per se, but it's a Mario Party-like game. Mario Party games are supposed to make you want to hurt, like, not hurt, but yell at your friends. Because this isn't even just, oh, hurry, you just need to do this and that. You need to grind. Then tell me where's a place to grind at. <laughs> because I haven't found anywhere that is suitable to grind. Because uh, really speed speed downs. Nice. I 
I dealt one damage. Can you believe it? I dealt one damage with a fully charged up swing. And of course, Pop Poppy was the one to mess that one up on me. But with everybody already being at low health, like extremely low health already, like, I, I'm just going to be rushing through this dungeon, I think. Get directly to the boss, change to... Nah, I think I'm going to keep the axe. Granted, I have everybody to attack when... Like, I have them so that I want them to only at really attack when they have a full charge on their meter. Billy Tomato Man. Good, that dealt some damage. There. Yeah, I'm, I'm alright. Uh, it's more of just a dry cough. The, the game? Why did you... Hey, yay, yay. Hey, hey guys, walk down the stairs, because you can't hurt these guys. J get, get down the stairs. Or you'll get hit with a fireball and die like every every other time. Because I am pretty sure that the boss of this area is technic Uh really? You you both had to die at the same time. Of course you did. Hey. Time to waste two cups of ace, or of wishes. Great, I do have four of them. So hopefully these guys are able to deal damage now. I should have did a quick save state before before fighting him. I honestly should have. But Yeah, where's the fun in that? This is going to be my last attempt before I decide to just leave for the day. And by that, I mean stop streaming for a little bit and then then come back to this once I am, like, level 20 or something. Alright, so. Alright, now that all the eyes are open. Let's go to... You know what? Let's see. Can, 
Earth Slide deal. Good damage to me. Oh, Earth Slide is dealing a lot more damage than I thought it would. All of them. If they only target Rand, I probably have a chance, actually. just loves hitting I'm trying to attack this thing and no thankfully I will be able to negate this damage I think bye oh she she hasn't taken any damage so that was kind of a waste of a uh, Waste of an item there. <laughs> yeah, oh well, I'll just eat one. I'll just give Ran Randy one. That's just... I don't like that this game just says, Oh, hey. Nice attack. Uh, it, the attack didn't work. Sorry. Your attack missed because this the enemy decided to cast a spell and tell you no, die. Everybody. All right. All right. So I somehow missed. He somehow missed me really absorb energy again. Poppy... Actually... <laughs> that That is just getting annoying how he's just... Like, the enemy just spams. Like, if the enemy didn't spam, then my entire issue would be over. But it's the spam that really... Also, wait, I gave Poppy a Fairy Walnut, meaning that I can actually... Okay, it, it heals everything up, so I could just spam Earth Slide again. Both. Oh, oh great. You d you decided to die on me, Prim. The game. Actually, use the use what I'm what I'm telling you, please. <sighs> okay, let's... 
There we go. There we go. That boss was easier than the dungeon itself because I could actually deal damage to it, unlike the tomatoes. <sighs> I got a bow orb, meaning I can upgrade the bow. And yeah, I did it. Ay, ay, ay. Till we meet again, moi ha ha ha. Because I'm a fair and balanced boss fight. Because I spam magic and absorb literally all of your life force. And I'm going to. Oh, hey, Gemma! Why? What is? What are you doing? Right, sorry, I was spacing out. Thanatos is one of their best men. They must be desperate to get him out. But why was he taking the life energy away from the people here? The Empire only needs the power from the seeds, not from the people. There's something curious about Thanatos. I've got a bad feeling about it. Anyway, let's get you out of here. Return to Lucas' place. I'm off to the underground palace. Okay, can you... Are you teleporting? Yeah, thank you. Because I don't want to be in there ever again. Because that's annoying. Extremely annoying. I'm just going to come in here and save the game manually. No, because everything is fine. Save. Granted, I think this was the first time I defeated everybody. Uh, one and the pole arm, two, that was the one. I don't know why there's an 84 next to the load axe. Zero for the broadsword. Alright, so... Oh, is that how many times I've killed people with it, or... Because I should have the higher weapons. Or is it counting down what I need to get a weapon upgrade for it? Or not upgrade, but like... Your skill went up with the weapon! You're good now with it. Don't want to go there. I can now finally buy armor. Game, stop messing up, please. I already have that. I already have that. Basically, he, he, you're telling me is that I got somebody, or I, you gave me an item that was kind of worthless. Hello. Hello. I come back after beating Persona 5 Royal, and Jesus Christ. No spoils. Not don't, spoiling. Don't tell anybody anything. What I'm saying is Jesus fucking Christ. Wait, what's this about me putting a curse on you? Basically, trying to play this game. Oh god. <laughs> Because because there's no real place to grind. Uh, I, oh, just, I fought the tomato guys that even with a full charged double axe or fully charged twice axe dealing zero damage. Oh, God. Actually, damage types matter on this. Try not using an axe. Well, that was the only thing that was able to deal damage. The first couple of times. Also, it didn't help that nothing happened sometimes. Alright, you know what? Let's switch to the fist. 
because I've been using the axe a bit. I like the trap room, I do like the pole arm, but let's see. Let's see what a higher level glove does. Oh, I don't have this upgraded. Alright. <sighs> also, I don't get why they don't, like... I have to have the sword basically equipped in this area, or the axe, because it's just annoying having to switch back and forth just to cut some grass. And all I have to do is go talk to Luca again. Also, I love how the only place to buy mana or uh, fairy walnuts are Hello. at Nico Nekos, and you, it, it costs a lot. He's uh, KZ is streaming. Okay, so. Not KZ, sorry, not KZ. Co uh, Co uh, Colin is streaming. Oops. Oh, I, I, some more of that mana. Yep. As long as it's not connection of mana. Yeah, ha, 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 same joke, funny. Alright, now we have to go talk to Luca, because I got two things done. Uh, when Undyne was in danger and out of power, the water tells me they took it to Gaia's navel or deeper. I don't think they're from the Empire. Please hurry, bring it back. Okay, what do I have to do? Mass seed of water, someone. They must have done it when Undine was in danger out of power. The water tells me they took it into took it to Gaia's navel or deeper. All right, so I have to go to Gaia's navel. Oh, and the seed's actually gone. Okay. Get out of this radial menu. And if I remember correctly, the easiest way to go to Guy's Navel is going straight back down, or I could just wander around and go into the cannon. Which, cannons are good. And yeah, Cody, you have a lot of background noise coming on. He has occasional oh. background spurts. Um, right. Oh that's... yeah, but yeah, I'm, 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 I'm using uh, the Eddie Mike right now, by the way, Arch Creed. Uh, okay. Hang on. That's because people are in the in-game voice chat and I don't know how to mute that. Yeah, he's playing he's playing uh some of the things. Yeah, at least I think that's what you're hearing. Oh wait, Unless you're hearing gunshots. Shoot. Are you hearing gunshots? No, it's not gunshots, it's just a lot of static. Static? Yeah. Static? Why are you making you hear static? Sometimes it is a also, I realized I shot myself back to the water palace yeah, where I just took a trap too. Yeah. So that's. That I can be able to do it anyway. Okay, hopefully that didn't wig anything out. Is that better? Yeah, yeah you're gonna have to ask Arch Greed. Also, I hate this game when it comes to treasure chests.
because every late game treasure chest I find, or not even late game, every treasure chest I find in a dungeon is a bomb or poison. And this was the day I defeated a Primarch in battle. Eh, but Kitten does that every day. Who is that? Kitten. I don't know who that is. You, you, you don't know about... Yeah. About if the Emperor had a text-to-speech device? I, I do, but I didn't watch all the side stuff. Ah, well, you need to watch them play uh, Space Strip Poker Billion. Also, now that uh, Prim actually has a decent amount of, of defense, because I was finally able to buy an item for her that increases her, her usefulness. Which, I don't like that it took me two dungeons in the game to get a single piece of armor that is an upgrade to her base armor. There we go. The Yojo. Come on, just walk away, people. Just, just walk away. There we go. The whip actually deals a significantly high amount of damage. Please tell me I just didn't walk all the way around just to get back to Pandora. Because I'm pretty sure I'm at Gaia's navel now. Hopefully. Yes, yes I am. Good. Uh, Rand, Rand get, get, in, get in the water, please. Because I don't want to... Because I want to get directly to the Dwarf Village. Because that place is probably the best place to be right now. So I can upgrade the bow, finally. And all I have to do is go down one flight... You cannot kill me. I am Omegle. Well, oh, screw you, that's loud. Come on, Poppy. Get. Get. Come on, Rand. Alright, which one's ready? The bow, because it will get its first upgrade. And let's see if it's any good. It's a short bow now, okay. That's hopefully useful, and I'll go to the end to at least 
to at least heal up slightly and save. Yep, let's save the game. Granted, I'm not sure if I... I'm pretty sure I told everybody this, but my first experience of this game was actually playing it on mobile. Oh, God! How terrible. It actually felt and played better than the Switch port. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it actually felt better than the Switch port. Amazing. Okay, are you... Where is Gemma at? Because he said he was going to be here, but he's not here. Unless he is somewhere up here? No. Because even Poppy's dad figure is gone. Alright. Where the heck is Gemma at? Go into the Get the Water Seed quest. Blah, blah, blah. In the Dwarf Village, you'll find Gem and the Elver standing above the hole in the crown in the area. Of course, we uh, always have to go back to the hole that I killed the second boss in. I'll handle the palace. You check this out. Keep alert. We don't know what lies below. If I can make a hole this big. I don't know. Oh. Uh, that's a submarine. Uh, do, how do I get out of here? Um, do, do I just go up on this? No. I think think the game told me something that, oh, hey, I won't be able to get back home. Ah, oh, that's great. Good thing I saved. Watch this chest hurt me. It didn't hurt me. It actually gave me an item that I will love to abuse and use. Nice. Welcome, we are the Scorpion Army. We will rule the world. Check it out. Shut up. We took the water seed to complete our super deluxe robot. We call it Kilroy. Hubba hubba. Do it. Aye, aye, sir. We... Why didn't we just beat the tar out of them right there? Why are we letting them get their giant robot ready? Because we want a challenge. Get them now. Farewell. Goodbye, children. What's wrong? Too much energy. It's out of control. No! Remove the seed. Use the auxiliary power. This seems like he is a uh, slow boss and if you get hit it's your own fault <laughs> I'm just going to spin my hammer <laughs> back and forth and if I hit you I'm not to blame that's literally what this boss is doing I can't even be mad about this thing. Oh. Oh, great. I'm now a Moogle. Nice. Also, if you're going to be joining in on the stream, don't type. I'm trying not or to. Or I will mute sorry. you. And not unmute you until the stream is over.
I'm trying to be as quiet as possible with my typing. Well, don't worry. then put yourself on push to talk if you're not going to be. I had to. I, I was responding to what Shoro put and dumped the links. Okay. You could always do that later. I would have forgotten. Also, this boss actually seems stupidly e. Okay. Yeah, this boss is a joke. It's supposed to be a super powerful, you know. You know what? At least it's not spamming fireballs. Oh, I can Google or... you. Yeah. At least it's not spamming fireballs or draining. Yeah, it's a purely melee based boss. Making it actually seem like here's the thing: if they made this thing fast and deal the damage that it's doing. This would actually be a competent boss fight that would actually be- I would have been well received to. The, the joke is that these guys are bad at making robots. You see, I understand that, but when the last boss I fought was just a wall that I couldn't deal enough damage to, oh. because he kept healing off the damage by draining my life. And then he's crushed you, right? He crushed me once, I was able to- but I realized the point of which I could attack him, though. Only when his eyes were open. Yeah, but with the crush phase, I had to switch my weapon over to the spear. <laughs> game. Stop. Stop doing this game. Joy-Cons. Actually work, please. over I can't believe he she died to something this stupid I even gave her the whip so that she wouldn't have to get up close <laughs> ah great Poppy died it's almost as if having them on Keep away and attack, or keep away and guard, actually. They they don't listen anyway. Yay. AI is fun. And that clap was me smacking my Joy-Cons together because they decided to mess up. And smacking them together apparently put something back into place, which I don't get why that would happen that way so the the boss so the only boss that these two party members lived for was the crushing wall and only and i mean only because i used cups of lives on them oh well see ya bye bye I got the mana seed! Yay! Let's bring it back to the water palace. No! I don't want to go back there. She scares me. Yeah, there we go, so that there aren't as many statics and loops and bleeps and people actually, you know, respect streams. Let's upgrade you, and let's upgrade the whip to level 2, which is now a black whip. 
nice. Even though it looks the same color. Okay, now then, uh, now then that's done with, I should, uh, okay, Joy-Cons, can, can you not have a mind of your own for once in your life? How'd you move over here? Because I didn't want, because this is technically a recording. Ah, uh, okay. And Cody's constant static and... Poor Mike is ah, fair a enough. very big hindrance to quality. Fair enough. Fair enough. I not to be rude, but he's not a very That's professional funny. person either. Neither are you. Well, I'm, I'm I'm at least not having static. Yeah, but I mean, also, I don't want people to cuss in this stream. What's wrong with that? Because I don't have the channel set to mature. The cussing is not a yes, it is to mature. actually it is one of those that it's required nitro to where we could get the channel banned if we don't have that content maturity on. Shouldn't we do that then? When I stream, I like to keep it PG. Sorry about that. Just somebody wanted to talk to me for a little bit. And, oh! There's now enemies in, in, in the water here. Neat. Hopefully this doesn't become a dungeon. Alright, looks like we just killed everything in here. That apparently not, because apparently I just got shot by a water thug. Okay. Okay, so apparently the water temple is overran. Or is, yeah, no, it's overrun now. It's actually a water temple. I just hope this isn't like Legend of Zelda.
But it seems like the enemies here are at least tolerable and and strength. Like, I can actually deal damage to them and they don't have complete and total invincibility, but that... I find that strange that he's hitting me from behind and throwing me for... Or throwing me towards him. Alright, so... Oh, okay, so there's no enemies in here, just... I'm surprised that there's no enemies in here, actually. Oh. Oh, no. It's Geshta. Who have we here? I'm Geshta of the Empire. Hand over that seed or Lucas had it. Don't! What will you do? I will hand over this. You know what? Wow. Joy Cons really don't like working today. Or specifically, the left Joy Con apparently loves just going through, through every single thing. But okay, we're going to make a safe state here because. I am going to hand over the seed, I think. Atta boy. Ha, <sighs> are, are, are you are you serious? Are you serious, man? You're just going to have me fight a boss. Okay. Alright. Um. I thought I bought candy. No. Okay. Uh, just give it to Rand. Hopefully this boss doesn't spam magic. Serious. Come back down and cup. Oh, apparently Poppy isn't didn't see the Reaper yet, so he's alive but he's dead. And of course Prim died too. I don't know why it says they see the Reaper. Also, this seems like it's another completely physical type boss, which. Actually, seems like it would be a fair, a fair fight. Ah, <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> uh, well, see, I'm just gonna have to buy Poppy and have them be gnomed. Oh, uh, he leveled up. Okay, I didn't know that my earth magic leveled up a little bit. And I'm gonna have you eat a chocolate bar. Two. There we go. And just charge it. Two. And slash. Poppy, stop, stop dying, please. Or before you die, ca cast your spells. Hey, yeah, yeah. I, I praise this boss for not having magic, but he spammed two spells in a row. Can, can, can I get out of this box, please? Oh, there we go. I apparently killed one of the heads. Oh, 
Well, everybody, this was a great stream today. Uh, I'm just going to end off after taking 246 damage from a single spell that I couldn't do anything at all to stop. That Because that's a fair and balanced gameplay right there, I think, right? And I've been going at it for about two hours, so... Uh, So, so, yeah, I think I'm done for today. The boss actually seems like it's somewhat easy to fight, but I'm not 100% sure which one I should do, though. Because I gave up the seed, but, eh, eh I'll try, try it later. But this boss seems like it's manageable to do, though, at least, unlike the wall. Well, no, unlike the Fire gen Genie, actually, because that was just annoying. But you too, Archfruit, stay safe, have fun, and thank you. Thank you for showing up.